Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is, as always, a lot to do, so we're not gonna waste any time with a prolonged introduction today. However, I will mention right off the bat that chances are, it's almost certain, in fact, that today's session will not have a time lapse. It's actually been quite some time uh, since we've last had an episode without a time lapse. Uh, but that's only today because we have a lot of management stuff that needs taken care of that I've just sort of been setting aside and kind of, uh, I would say, maybe uh, ignoring is not the wrong word to use. Uh, no, nah, it, it's not It's not that. It's, it's, it's stuff that's certainly been, you know, tucked under the rug, though. But as you tuck something under the rug, you're not really ignoring it because you're actively, like, pushing it aside. We've been doing a lot of that lately. Um, and I think it all came to a head... Uh, last session, um, especially when we started getting all of those back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back inbreeding notifications. Um, and it was just a good signal for me to be like, okay, I really need to check myself before I wreck myself and wreck the whole zoo and wreck an entire species and have to, you know, redo their entire, like, start their breeding from, from ground zero and whatnot. Uh, so today's session will uh, focus a fair bit on uh, on that aspect of it across the zoo. I want to actually spend some time with the animals as well. It has been quite some time, I and mean, especially now that we don't have to uh, go around and replace their uh, their um, enrichment items. I almost call them fulfillment items. Uh, now that we don't have to go around, you know, replacing their enrichment items and stuff, I feel like it's been a while since we've... Look at this cutie. It's been a while since we've gone around and just spent some time with the animals uh, and, and just seen how they uh, behave and all that. So um, definitely want to spend some time doing that uh, as well. And uh, I also want to talk about the uh, plans for some of the DLC animals um, in terms of not like when we're going to be tackling them, but where and how we're going to be tackling them, uh, because there are at least two, three actually, that are relevant for, uh, for Elite Zoo South, which is great. I mean, this DLC has worked out wonderfully for our like kind of approach to... Uh, uh, to having a, a Southern Hemisphere zoo be be the uh, be the current focus, so that works out nicely. But I would like to talk about that a little bit, and I would also like to maybe take a look at getting some more uh, animal talking points in here. Uh, many of you have uh, pointed out uh, some good spots for some animal talking points. Many of you have pointed out uh, many of the uh, kind of I guess issues that need taken care of. And actually, on that note, I do want to point out as well that. Uh, while I have read through the comments of the previous episode, I was unfortunately not able to do a second reading, as many of you are already familiar. I like to do that, kind of do a second reading, which is when I take all of my notes. So if I miss anything, then I do apologize. It's simply because I haven't had the opportunity to do that second reading yet. But of course, I will be going through and doing that you know, after this episode is recorded. So if I don't mention something uh, important that you pointed out to me, uh, that is why. I just wanted to make sure you knew. Um, but, uh, I mean, feel free to mention it again in the, in the comments down below of this episode, uh, but I will be catching up, of course. Um, but yeah, there was, there was some talk of, like, uh, you know, some other spots where we could put down some animal talking points. There were some other, uh, issues, uh, or concerns that were raised as well in terms of, uh, our approach to, to things lately. But I think the, uh, first order of business is going to be, yes, some of this management work that we've been, uh, ignoring for a while. And then we are, uh, I've seen, uh, Quite a few of you actually uh, <laughs> raise this issue, raise this concern, but we are going to start getting some names down. We have uh, we have name suggestions, or I'm not going to do it today, but we have name suggestions for our Aldabra uh, tortoises, for our gorillas, for our uh, uh, lemurs, uh, for our giraffe and zebra enclosure as well as the warthog enclosure. In fact, that means all of our unnamed enclosures, I've got names picked out for them. Well, the first order of business with our next beauty pass, which is going to be the focus of our next session, uh, is going to be getting those names down uh, alongside other things. Now, actually, one more thing before we get into it uh, is I've seen a lot of comments that were uh, pretty on board with me spending time to go back and finish some things off. And, uh, and I think that's what we'll do in the next handful of sessions. I mean, again, y'all keep letting me know what you feel in terms of how we should approach things. But I think it's, it's necessary for us to spend some time uh, going back and just finishing these things off. Again, I feel reinvigorated having taken the break and gone up to, to this region over here to work on to work on the uh, zebra and giraffe enclosure. I do feel reinvigorated uh, to come back over here, um, which really is the only area we've left behind, although, of course, there is the, you know, central kind of entrance space that 
could use a bit more love. I'm going to use that to segue into the first order of business over here, and that actually is to try and prevent all this walking through the, memor the memorial. What some of you have suggested is that I try to... Now, there, there have been a variety of suggestions here. One was to put... Okay, so there was actually... I'm curious which one will work better. Education boards have been uh, suggested as an option uh, because guests will look at them even if they're underground, right? So we can kind of like... What we can do is we can like hide them in a frame or something. First, I want to test that it works. Uh, that's the first order of business to test that this actually works. Uh, but if I hide these education boards underground, then guests will uh, walk around them because of the uh, collision boxes and whatnot. Uh, but also occasionally they'll stop to read the education boards and that will look like they're looking at the uh, memorial, which I think is a really compelling suggestion. So that's one. Another suggestion was to actually use bins uh, instead because bins work much the same way. But I think bins are a little bit harder to place because they are attached to the path. Uh, though on the bright side, yes, it means no litter, but we, we could literally put a, uh, literally put a ring of bins down and like cover it up with vegetation and stuff. But I want to try this education thing first, because that way guests might actually look at the memorial as if they are, well, looking at the memorial. Uh, so uh, again, folks, just to clarify, I have read through the comments. I've done my one read through that I do as they kind of come in. Uh, I just haven't been able to do that second read through that where I actually take notes. So this is all going off the top of my head in terms of the uh, suggestions and stuff that I've read. Uh, also, I just want to touch on the fact that I will be doing... Okay, so as we sort of move forward, I want to do some beauty passes. I want to do some lighting passes urgently. I keep neglecting lighting passes. I don't know why. It's not intentional. I don't want to. I enjoy doing lighting passes. I love when the zoo is nicely lit up late at night and... Uh, and you get that, you know, you get those uh, late night vibes, whether it's uh, the more ethereal approach or the more kind of uh, subtle approach. I, I, I love that feeling. And it's just like, why have I stopped? I should just keep doing it. Uh, I should I should definitely do more of that. Um, and, and yet I haven't. And it's a, it's a, it's a topic that comes up often uh, from myself as well as from the, uh, uh, the, the comments. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just want to let you all know that I don't disagree. I, I need to get on that sooner rather than later. Um, this is very much not centered. This is like... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and move those over a little bit. Um, so yeah, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to touch on that a little bit as well. It's just like, yeah, that's also certainly on my mind that we haven't done a... Uh, that we haven't done a... Uh, that's annoying. Uh, lighting pass in a while. Oh, they are selected. Why am I... I'm like over here. All right, we're good. We're okay. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. I wonder... Oh, yeah, see, this time it's not... Oh. How does that make any... When I select it without the multi-select tool, it only selects the one. But when I use the multi-select tool, it selects both. Oh, okay. I, I guess I get it. I just never have experienced that before, but fair enough. Go ahead and put set over here, and let's go ahead and put a set. Nope, gotta use the multi-select tool. Go ahead and put another over here. And that will hopefully prevent guests from entering. I might need to put more down, but let's go ahead and see first. Let's go ahead and hit play, see how they interact with the space. I mean, some of them might be stuck inside. A lot of them are burning up. That much is clear. So we might actually want to put down another... Uh, go ahead and cool the space down a bit more. And we've got this one over here. I wonder if I can't... Probably not. Not without moving everything. Come on. Oh, hey, what do you know? All right, cool. Drop the temperature a bit more down to... And we're down to 20 degrees already. What do you What do you guys want? 16? What is this thing at? This one's at 19. I mean, these are comfortable temperatures, are they not? Am I the only one who thinks so? Am I, am, am I the one who's wrong here? I mean, I could be. That's got to be good, right? That's got to be good. Take a look over here. Nah, so guests are still able to walk right through here. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But I wonder... No, you know what? They are able... So they're able to walk through this right now. Go ahead and see if we have to lift these up a little bit. Dangerous animal has escaped. Look at this. So let's take a look at this. Whoa, how did you, how did you get out here? 
literally, how were you able to get out here? Did you just clip through the wall here? Buddy, not for the tracks. Just clip through the wall there or something. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I, I, don't, I don't know what that was about. But yeah, literally just walk through the walls, I guess. All right. Um, back over here. All right. Guys are looking there. I want to make sure I don't like negatively impact the uh, flow of traffic here either, though. I really like how the uh, the rippling looks, actually. Oh, these guys walked right through. I feel like they walked right through one of these um, education boards. Even after I've raised them. Maybe they went through that gap there. Do I really have to, like, do a full circle? If that's the case, I might want to, like, tuck it in a bit more. Okay, let's see. So I don't have to add another layer, because then it's going to start getting a little big. I mean, I saw many of you mention um, that it's it's a little large. Uh, that is uh, it's something I was concerned about. Might be something that I uh, try to adjust by removing a layer, like the outer ring or something. Definitely stuff we can make adjustments to. But, um, but I mean, a big part of the size definitely comes from our, our central uh, piece over here. And, and like just the the sheer size of some of these rocks and whatnot, obviously. I am very happy with the uh, the rock sculpture though. I'm quite pleased with how that's uh, ended up. And by the way, actually, um, on the topic of things ending up, uh, that's literally the phrase that reminded me. Uh, just as a reminder, I've got my little mini series going on as well that takes a look at the uh, the aquatic uh, uh, DLC specifically, um, and takes a look at uh, the the animals that are coming with it, the pieces that are coming with it. That is actually finishing up. Today, that's where the ending, finishing connection came from. Uh, that's actually uh, reaching its conclusion today, so if you've been watching that, then it will be releasing uh, same day. If you have not been watching that, you might enjoy watching that, because it will, uh, I mean, it's, you know, more, more construct. It's, it's, it's certainly more construction-focused. Obviously, we look at the animals and stuff as well, but it is more construction-focused. It is more about building the enclosures and uh, and then getting the animals in there and seeing how they interact with the spaces. A lot of inspiration there that I intend to use. Uh, a lot of inspiration and a lot of learning there that I intend to use for... Uh, what happened there? For Elitsu South and Elitsu North, because, of course, some of those animals are uh, Northern Hemisphere animals. But... Uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there in case you've missed the notifications or, or what have you. Uh, just in case you'd like to stay up to date with... Weird. Weird. Uh, with, uh, with other Planet Zoo-related things happening on the channel. I feel like that was the best way that I, uh, of, of displaying the DLC yet. These guys are just walking right through this. They do not care about these uh, education boards. That's unfortunate. It's a really clever idea was a really clever idea. Maybe now that it's a full ring, they'll stop pathfinding through it. Maybe. Could also just treat this as like a source of light or something. Come on. Let me... Let me... S let me select this thing. Maybe I'll move it later. Yeah, you know what? Guests are still walking right through. Well, that's silly. Because the idea is there, and it makes perfect sense. But, yeah, it looks like hey, these guests are stopping to read. These guests are still walking through. Maybe it just reduces the... Let's see, they were going to... Well, maybe it's because I'm moving it. Hard to tell. Though I do like how the reflections look. Hard to tell. Let's do this for now. We'll, we'll see how that affects behavior. You have escaped, our little baby zebra over here. Hi. Hello. Go ahead and stop that from happening. I guess we have to uh, make this a bit steeper. I saw the notification come through and I was like, we're probably fine. Obviously lying to myself. But this should fix it up. It's just a matter of making this a bit steeper. If you're stuck on that side, that means you'll be stuck on this side too. All right, cool. We have uh, giraffe babies coming through as well, right? I believe we have a giraffe baby coming through. Yes. May of year 103. So May of next year, not not that far away. Now, is this boat ride working all right? Because, yeah, okay, looks like we're good now. Looks like we're good now. And, man, it doesn't... Doesn't that look gorgeous at night? 
when it's so dark. Alright. This is another thing that I saw many of you point out, which uh, should have made my top priority. But we have... I chose the wrong lioness. Somehow, an oversight, I chose the wrong lioness to uh, put on contraceptives. I put Nemono on it when I meant to put Kibibi on it. But, problem solved. Again, I saw many of you mention that in the comments, and I was like, oh wow, how did that happen? Uh, but thank you for pointing that out. Again, I, I, I always appreciate that kind of, uh, um, you know, assistance. There's no other word for it. Uh, because a lot of the time things will slip my eye or I will make a silly mistake like that and then uh, and I can correct it much quicker this way uh, So thank you now has this improved at all? I mean I'm seeing less well, I just wasn't here as much huh. I mean I do like guests stopping to look at the memorial like this is pretty neat You know this is I like this a lot, but to stop them from walking in there. What could we do? What could we do? Can't put a barrier down, that won't stop them. And and I can't put like a glass barrier or something down because they'll just uh like it won't it won't allow me to put it on the path. I could try that bin trick that was mentioned. But again, bins are a little bit harder. I could do you know what actually that the Australia bin. Okay. Hang on a second though. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You two, first of all. And move you up. Move this down. For now. We might we might get rid of them completely. Move you guys back down. And then I want to select everything over here and group it. Ah, this, oh, grouping things like this makes me so nervous. Once they're grouped, they're grouped. And then going in and then isolating my separate groups becomes so much harder. God, I really don't want to group them. It just makes it easier to select the the bins and stuff. All right, let's oh, okay. Let's see first of all if it would actually stop them. The Australia bins actually look nice too, which is uh, their benefit. We could try. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Unfortunately, I have to place them individually because uh, can't do the whole rotation for a circle trick over here. And I might, uh, again, this is kind of a, a test. If it works, I'll, uh, I'll maybe come up with a prettier solution for it all. During a time lapse or a beauty pass, or maybe we'll just keep this for now and then tweak it later if necessary. Um, I doubt I need this many, actually. Probably overdoing it. Almost definitely overdoing it. But... Is that helping? I wish you could see pedestrian um, uh, mobility. Oops, I meant this one. Conceived offspring, okay, good. Overcrowding with the common warthog. Need to get on this ASAP. Too many males, I assume. Eight females, three males. Miney. Members in the trade center. No, it's got to be too many uh, females. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and get um, Nomble and Bio into Trade Center. That'll hopefully help. Just want to very quickly cap off the uh, memorial blockage over here. Did you seriously just walk through the bins? They walked through the bins, didn't they? They like wiggled their way through the bins, didn't they? <laughs> All I want to see is if like, if that's what they're doing, if that's what they're pulling off over here. That seemed to force this guy out of his uh, existing trajectory. Yeah, see that guy got pushed away as well. Alright, okay. Might be working, might not be working. Stuff, good stuff. Find that together. Okay, just gonna leave it at that for now, and then we'll 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 see how folks are behaving, and then I don't want to have like I've already got way too many bins. If I have to delete them, it's gonna be such a pain. Uh, all right, let's see. We've got uh, okay. 
First of all, the Warthogs. They're the ones that need some serious attention. I think the right call would be to actually, yes, get rid of... Uh, oh, hungry. Miney, we're going to go ahead and move to the Trade Center. I will bring in a new male. Bring in a new male. I wish we could adjust contraceptives and stuff over here. We're not going to need to because if we're bringing in a new male, then the uh, the daughters are obviously... There's no uh, connection there, so we'll be okay. Uh, up your food quality to grade 3, please and thank you. Hopefully that's grade 3, buddy. Um, and let's go ahead and do what? Animal trading, first of all. Over to our... Uh, warthog, Warthog, Warthog. We're about to inbreed as well. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. It's like we, we need... We <laughs> needed a management session for a while. For a while. Uh, where are we? So up over here. Among our warthogs, how do I want to go about this? What's going on over here? How about I clean this as a disease risk? Okay, alright, you know what? Okay, the first order of business is to hire some more staff. Everything else can wait. We need to hire some more staff. Um, where do I want to put them? Down over here? Sure. So. Zoo. Staff. I'm going to need two more caretakers. You know what? Let's pause. I'm going to need two more keepers. This is all for Africa, where I think we're getting a lot of uh, neglect over here, as we've added so many more animals, but not staff to keep up with it. Uh, we got caretakers. we got keepers. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get another mechanic as well. Uh, I would like another security guard. Because the zoo has grown, but we haven't added more security guards. Can I please... Click on, there we go. Vendors. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and hire quite a few vendors, actually. Because we've added so many shops, but we haven't doubled up the uh, the vendors. And again, money's not a problem, right? So, unpause, let them all hit the ground. There we go. And let's get to work over here. Uh, I've also seen many of you uh, talk about, <laughs> once more, bring up the uh, the whole salary conversation. Um, the... Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the, the, the words exactly, but uh, how paying the bare minimum to our staff isn't a very elite thing to do. Um, so there's, uh, there's, I guess there's two ways to re respond to that. Uh, I mean, again, I want to be very clear. When I respond to a comment like this, I totally welcome it, totally appreciate it. I'm only responding to it because, uh, you know, there, that, that's what that, that's that's part of the fun, right? Is like the engagement, the back and forth. Uh, so there's a couple of ways I suppose uh, one could respond to that. One is, I mean, we're paying them market rates, and if everyone's working at market rate, then no one's ever upset because everybody is paid uh, fair wages based on their experience, and nothing else adjusts their salary. That's one thing. The other thing is maybe a bit more of a dark sort of uh, <laughs> a reality. Um, yeah, elite zoo, I suppose. You know, if if uh, if something is, uh, is, is, is capable of opulence, it is often at the, uh, cost of something else, or someone else. Obviously not our approach. Our approach is more about how if everyone's being paid according to their experience, then it is a, uh, complete meritocracy, I suppose, and, uh, and yeah, you're paid according to your experience, no matter what role, uh, you are paid the, uh, the market, um, uh, market average, and, uh, and, and therefore... Uh, yes, we are we are justified. Honestly, I mean, I could, at this point, I could probably pay everybody. Actually, you guys don't get work zones. I could probably pay everybody maximum wages, and it would like do a minimal bit of damage to our uh, to our well refined economy. We're at, we're at half a million right now, so you know we're we're doing okay. I would say we're doing okay. Do Africa West as well. Get you into Africa West. But, uh, but yeah, I just I just wanted to touch on that because it does, <laughs> every so often it does come up. It's not like, this isn't the first time, it's come up a couple of times. And I think I've I mentioned, I've talked about it a couple of times. Like I think, you know, 20 or 30 or so episodes ago, in fact, I, I talked about it at Litsu South. Uh, I just find it funny because, yeah, no, I mean, it, it makes sense. But it's weird. It's like, is there a reason to pay them more? Like there needs to be a reason to pay them more. Um, but it's not like they quit. It's not like they perform worse. I don't think so, at least. Um, so yeah. I think we've got everybody organized over here. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, unpause. We'll see how, how that works out. Now, back to our situation for the Warthogs. We need a new male. Animal trading. 
over to, is it the, what is it, is it the common warthog? Yeah, it is. Again, still waiting on that search functionality here. <laughs> Jabalani, everyone's a Jabalani. Oh, those are really good stats, actually. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and flip the pricing. Look at that. Your fertility is low. Look at that. Oh, look at that, actually. That's actually quite good. What about the BD over here? Not bad, not bad. Hey, Zoe. Also not bad. Canyon. That's good stats. Those are really good stats. Hassan. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Agbana over here. What I could do is I could go to each and every one and compare mates, but uh, I think... Uh, I think Buddy here is not a bad call. These potential end results all pretty good. I can also get all of them off of contraceptives now. Good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Yeah, Ogbana. Hopefully you're still available. Adopt. There you go. Great stats. Basically, not a, <laughs> not a, not a penny spent. Over to quarantine first, of course. Cool. That should solve that problem. All right, wonderful. Um, it's March of year 103. May is when we expect to see our uh, our baby giraffe. Let's spend some time with our baby zebra, actually, as it starts to rain over here. Oh, there you are. It looks so. Like, look at those legs, right? They look so uh, like spindly. I guess is the word, right? So cute. So tiny. Of course, perfect timing. Ooh, Madison's about to have offspring. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I was so happy we caught this again. They're so cute. Oh, so cute. Look at that face of contentment. And away with you. Freedom. You're such a cutie. Oh, is that another baby over here? Yeah, it is. Looks like we're looks like we're finally is, is that a baby? Oh, they look. Yep. Mila over here. Decent stats. Right, we can't put you on contraceptives on the screen. Over here, Madison. Wait, did you just name the baby after the mother? Alright, fair enough. Madison. Also decent stats. Not bad, not bad. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the koalas previously. Maybe we just had low quality koalas. But, uh, at least we're seeing some babies now. That's good. Zoo. Animals. It would also be absolutely wondrous if they added a uh, search feature over here. Koalas. And, let's see. Madison and Mila. There we go. Benjamin getting some work done with Madison, I assume. Nonetheless, at least we have some, some babies now. That's good. Good stuff, good stuff. What do we got going on over here? A lot of time walking. This. Interesting that you'd walk all the way over here. Hmm. I want to look into this. They don't have any work zones assigned, if I recall correctly. Oh, no, actually, you know what? Maybe they do. Come on. There's no path to my work zone from here? Well, that be right. Center. Well, where, where did you go? How did you get there? Because I... Pretty sure I dropped you off over here. Um, fairly confident. <laughs> fairly confident. Low welfare over here. Nutrition. Nourishment. Again, getting more keepers hopefully has, uh, will alleviate some of this, uh, some of these circumstances. Let's go ahead and get you out of there and into here. Right. So that's the, that's the warthog problem solved. Now over with the kangaroos where I would like to get some more talks down, actually, and I thought it'd be really quite cool if we were able to get the uh, talks happening over here. Again, right, like these are supposed to be like meeting points and whatnot, so I thought that'd be pretty neat. Um, works quite nicely. I do want to catch this as well. Come on, every baby. Come on. You hiding from the rain? Probably. Baby time? Is that the tail lift of Nope, that's that those are those are poops. Those are poops. I was like, is that the tail lift of a baby or a poop? <laughs> Got my answer sooner than I'd expected. Come on. 
Here we go. Come on. Ooh, little tippy taps. I don't want to miss it. I don't think it's got like a special custom animation or anything. Maybe just yeah, sit down and then have the baby as they as the uh, starting animals did. And there you go. Hey, little buddy. Rashidi. Very good stats. Pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah. So cute. Look at that tall on this guy. At birth. <laughs> I thought the adults were cute. And, uh, and look at the strange proportions. Like, look at the legs, right? Oh, what's up over here? All right, we'll look at that. Yeah, look, look, at, look at the legs and compare them to the adults. Oh, look at that. Come on, where'd you go? You stopped just short of the camera. You knew what I was trying to do. You know the moment I was trying to capture. Yeah, those those legs. Those are those are some funny proportions. All right, what's going on? Who's who's upset? You you. Why are you? What's wrong, buddy? Where are you? Nothing's wrong. Diseased animal discovered. We're getting a lot of those as well. A lot of disease going on. But a kangaroo. Baby's hopefully headed our way soon. Come on. Yeah, nice, beautiful. The queen of Kenya is expecting offspring. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Have we seen baby red ruffed lemurs? I don't think we have. Have we seen baby ring tailed lemurs? I don't think we have. Akila has died. Oh no. Resting peacefully. Oh no, expecting offspring in October of this year. Is she gonna make it? I don't know. I don't know if the game prioritizes the baby or her passing. That's kind of sad. That's really sad. This is about Akila again, but again, she's she's not dead yet. Otherwise, the notification would change. Offspring due November of year 103. That just got pushed by month, right? Look away, children. Look away. Oh my god, on the topic of children, look at this. Look at this tiny thing. Look at this little guy. Like, if you were surveying the area, you would have missed him. You'd be like, oh, hi. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Green Iguana has that offspring. They're probably still okay. No, it's too large, I guess. Oh, oh no. Hang on, what's, what's happened here? Animal has escaped. Oh, that must be the giraffe. I should have checked. Getting you and they, I suppose. So you and you go to the trade center. We're good for genes here. Who's escaped? Oh, were you able to get away? All right, let's uh, let's let's do this carefully here. Let me check on the. Giraffe as well. You able to escape? Kind of. I mean, does that really count though? Come on now. Does that really count? I don't think so. Where's our baby zebra? I almost said giraffe. <laughs> Been a long day. Been a long day. I think they've been captured but not returned yet. Well, quickest way to find out, obviously. Is this. Oh, we have another baby on the way. Being carried, yeah, being brought over right now. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Good stuff. Um alright, hang on a second. So we've got the warthogs taken care of kangaroos. What's the deal with the kangaroos? Let's see. Alright, we have our animal talk over here. Let's actually schedule it, though. We've got to assign the music over here. Let's go with the good old Australia playlist, I think. Stay on brand. Assign the red kangaroo and set the talk month to... Set it to September, sure. No educator assigned. Go ahead and... I mean, we, we, I mean, we, we we're playing catch-up on getting educators, right? So... I'm okay with that. Go ahead and... I knew to Australia. Cool. 
about to mate over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, sorry. Back to the kangaroos, though. I, I wanted to get more talking points. Um, like this one. Okay, let let's try something here. This one's set to September. Um, put one down over here. This is really bright. Put one down over here. Set this one to... Uh, why is it so bright over here? I need to change the brightness of this. Come on. Let me select this thing. There we go. We have one that's set to September. Can we set this one to October? And hang on a second. Does it actually... No, okay. It is different dates. Okay. September. October. Um, it would be pretty cool, actually, to have them all at the same time. Uh, but then we'd need, you know, multiple educators. One spot. September, October. And then let's do... One over here. This should, you know, encourage a little bit of movement for our uh, for our guests. Actually, I should start the move. Not too much though. Uh, how about May? Animal has escaped. Ugh. May. And over here, April. I wonder if the benches and stuff will get in the way or, or what. We'll find out. We'll find out. No educator assigned. Now, I wonder if one educator can't do multiples. Still says no educator assigned. Okay. When is this supposed to be active again? September. So we should be having a talk right now. No educator assigned. Oh, because they're not assigned to any work. Really? Yeah, that's why. Right. Right, right, and right. There we go. All right. Perfect bet. I need to. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait until Aisha here arrives, and then I'm going to um, <laughs> check where she's escaping from. Can I cancel move and then make sure she's getting moved over here? I need to see how they're getting out. I need to stop that from happening. Now, these boat rides are not getting too much action, actually. I wonder why. They're pretty cheap. They're an easy way to get over here, and, and they cut the uh, the distance, or rather the, the time taken to get from there to here. And it looks like we're getting some love over here. Not a lot, but some. I don't know. Maybe maybe over time we'll, we'll see some more action here. Now, one of our Titan Beetles has died. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to be, but I, I'm going to look at that after after this. This, this comes first. Waited so long. Or I've let it happen so many times. This is good. Guests are coming through and... Speak of the devil, perhaps? These guys are maybe going down? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like they're looking to use the boat ride. Alright, good stuff. Vendors over here as well are active. That's good to see. Again, hiring all those new vendors I think was a good call for sure. Where are you? Not you. Where are you? Hmm. Taking your sweet time. Okay, fair, fa fair enough. Fair enough. I don't want to step away, but I feel like I need to. I like. How long will I wait, though? All right, we'll we'll come back to Aisha in a moment, I suppose. I've been meaning to come back over here for a while. We've got two on contraceptives. That's because Minjara over here might need to be swapped out. Now, Minjara does have fantastic stats. So, I don't know. Oh, that's three of them. You know what? I might need to uh, trade Minjara out and get a new mail. Maybe. Let's go ahead and see if there are any good new males available right now. Among the red kangaroo. And that will solve this problem for, for some time. Where are we? Red. Kangaroo, there we go. Uh, price, yeah. Male. We need a high quality male. Yaron over here. Okay. Look at this fantastic specimen we have right now. And you're also just okay. Monty, Warren, 
No, no, no. Cohen. No. Birani. Still nothing. Strawberry ice cream. These guys are getting expensive now. Nala. Nope, not gonna spend that much. Alright, well I guess uh, Minjara can stick around for a little bit longer. I really ought to mark these guys getting into bad habits. Rather, getting out of good habits is what I should say. Um, where are you? There you are. Don't try it again. Ah, there we go. That's what's happening. There it is. Alright. Easy fix. That should do it. Yeah, beautiful. That's gotta be it, right? I don't see any other escapes. You're good, you're good. Oh, no, here we are. Well, that's not really an escape now, is it? I guess I could pull this up a bit. There we go. Down over here. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, no. Needs a little bit more, it looks like. Yeah, we need to check on our Titan Beetles. They are dying. I feel like it's empty now. Well, nothing. You're really willing to jump off this cliff? Oh, no, you know what it is? I know what it is. Pull this stuff back down. It's, um... It's this. They're just able to get close to the edge. There. Pull that back. Pull this back. And even pull this back, maybe. Nope. Just this piece, please. There we go. Let's do it. That's not Aisha. That's Aisha. Beautiful. Done. Done, 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 done. We're all good. Okay, excellent. Beautiful. Love it. Fantastic. Could spend some time with our little babies over here. Look at that run. Look at how tiny she is. They're really interesting. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta get a new baby. Come on. Gotta find a private spot. You're gonna have a lie down here. I don't think we've seen red rough lemur babies. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cute. <laughs> wow, that's... Alright, two of them. Looks like it. Oh, you're so cute. Three of them. That guy, like, zipped by. Realized he got spotted. Alright, cuties. What are your... Ooh, stats looking like. Not very good. What are your stats looking like? Where'd you go? Oh, no. Get away from me here. Oh, wow. These are good. Uh, these are good, but probably for trade. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say a star for now. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the averages of red roughed lemurs and stuff just quite yet to, to make a judgment call right off the bat there. But I definitely want to mark her out. Look, man, you can't litter over here when there's a bin. Like, wh wh where's the closest bin? They're not that far away. Are they that far away? Is it seriously that difficult for you to, like, just... Oh, okay, fine. You know what? Fine. 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 Here, there's a bin right here. You couldn't you couldn't toss it out before you walked into this space? Come on. Pop this down here. Pop this one up over here, maybe by the tree or something. I don't know. Oh, I think that's maybe... Maybe over here. Come on. Like snapping to like underground roads, like paths and stuff as well. All right, cool. Done. What's the problem over here? Titan Town. Oh, you know what? Looks like it's not empty. It's the exact opposite of empty. Francisca and Enrique. Maybe you get to stay. Sorry. But all first. There we go. Take a look at your stats here. Not surprised. Not surprised. And uh, to those of you that were mentioning that you're not big fans of how uh, you can't put in more than than the limited number of animals, I, I'm, I'm on the same page. It just make it's like, either all the information needs to be visible on this tab over here on this screen, or uh, I should be able to move all the animals in here so that I don't have to worry about, um, I don't have to worry about uh, going back and forth. 
You're good. But Juanita is old. But I don't notice that earlier. Missed that little note. So let's go ahead and replace Juanita with who? With Mercedes. Cool. You in there. And Juanita. Mercedes is also too old. At 1.7 years, you're elderly? That's not right. That's not right at all. And I figure so Juanita wasn't either. I have the cleanliness taken care of here. One point se hold on a second. That that ain't right. That ain't right. Life expectancy is one year. Oh, I guess it is right. Damn. Okay. 1.4. There we go. Not the highest fertility, but better than no fertility. There. That's too bad. Uh, I also actually want to take a look at getting some more um, capuchin. They've not been breeding for basically ever. Juan is infertile. We need more females, right? I believe I looked for some in the last session, but had no luck. Um, so. I'm looking for the... Colombian white face capuchin monkey. Really? The one female? I mean, sure. We need we need females. So I'll, I'll take what I can get. That's so weird that the uh, quote-unquote frontier zoo isn't filling in the gaps or anything either. Quarantine over here. Go. Over to quarantine with you. Hopefully that'll help. We need babies. We have two men and two women. Well, you know, two two male monkeys and two female monkeys. High amounts of litter. What? Are you kidding me? Where? Over here. There's some. Oh, oh god, over here. Oh no. What is this update changed? Oh my. Oh my god. What's going on over here? And why? Are you serious? Everyone just dumping their crap on this ramp over here. There's... There's a bin here. There's a bin here. How many more bins? How many more bins? Guests are actually super upset. I would be too. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Staff. Where are our caretakers for the Australia Zoo? Low workload? Really? Really, Bertie McElroy? Really? Emptying bin. Okay, he's working in the area, so we don't have to pick him up. Um, what about uh, somebody else in the Australia section here? Christopher, you? Wandering. This guy. This guy. Come on, get to work. Emptying bin. I dropped you over some litter. You should maybe work on the litter instead. There we go, cleaning litter. This is this is gross. This is hideous. This is unacceptable. Look and look at this. Look look at look at how far they go. It's just litter. This is definitely this is new for sure. This is new for sure. There we're good. Cleaning up, cleaning up. Buddy's moving down that way as well. This guy, can we move you up to like here or something? And then you can you can clean. This area, and that guy can clean this area. Teamwork, you know, as opposed to both working on the same thing. That would be great. That would be fantastic. Jeez, that's disgusting. We have another... Oh my god, what is... Okay. Okay. No problem. Not a problem. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Australia. Go ahead and assign you to Australia as well. Like when? When did this start being a thing? When did the over over abundance of litter start being a thing? Can I move you? Can I move you. What are you up to? Emptying bin. Okay. This guy's working over here. That guy's working over there. Move you to here. Work. And is it just Australia? Bin is full. Okay, fair enough. God. This needs to be cleaned up still. Yeah, this guy's working up over here. Alright, good stuff. He's making his way up. Okay, good, good, good. 
Would have thought I'd have to deal with this nonsense again. Put it left over here. Wasn't that just cleaned up? The space was just cleaned up. There's a bin right there. There's a bin right here. There's a... And some bad flashbacks. <laughs> there. Please. Please use the bins. Animal is hungry over here. Okay. Food not being brought in. And also, why do you keep getting teleported? I want to see what happens that keeps teleporting Rashidi back to, uh, like, back to start, so to speak. Uh, one thing I do need to do, maybe sooner rather than later, is establish the, uh, uh, staff facilities up over here. Uh, now back over here I am thinking of creating a viewing spot for the uh, warthogs that mirrors this one. So I want to try and keep it away from here. I could... Oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Go ahead and... can't go that way. Drain uneven. Okay, fair enough. Uh, where is our... Tunneling? I really don't want to tunnel. Here's what we'll do. Rain, push you back. Why is it pushing back so slowly? Oh, you know what? Because it's probably recalculating the um, the enclosure's uh, movement and stuff. Gotta be why. Come on, keep pushing you back. Pushing you back. It's actually really slow. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Taking forever. Going, keep going, keep going. I think primarily a keeper hut is uh, is needed. Uh, I just wonder if I want to go straight up or diagonally across. Let's go straight up just so the lines are a little bit cleaner. And then we can turn in here. I do have the supports on. Yeah, sure, you know, let's keep the supports on. They don't, they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. Let's go ahead and curve the path. Trying to get these facilities out of sight. It's a little close to where the guests are up there. Mm, we might not be able to hide them completely. I don't want them sticking out the back over here either. Let's see. Staff facilities. Get me. First priority is the keeper hut. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say a large keeper hut is probably a good idea. Oh, you know what? This isn't actually not, not that bad. There we go. Drop you down a bit. See what that looks like. Yeah, we'll have to like cover it up or something. It's almost definitely causing a negative impact over here. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll clean that up. And we also want to get the um, staff room. What do I do with a small staff room here? Exit the group here. Exit the group here. Thank you. Get back a little bit. Let's turn that flashlight on. Really see. There we go. Line you up nicely here. Beautiful. Perfect. Try and get that height right as well. By the way, I, I still... Am I, am I the only one who hasn't noticed the um, inspector come around? Yeah, there's not been an inspector in forever. What What is that about? Why did that... What's Why is that a thing? When did that happen? Rather, when did that stop being a thing, I should say, I guess? There we go. There we go. Now, what's the negative impact on these guys? Oh, you know what? They're actually pretty well contained. Beautiful. I'll probably decorate them some other time, but for now, that works. Uh, let's go ahead and get our work zones figured out here. This is Africa West. No, it's not. It's center. Get all of you assigned here. Nope. I wonder if we can't get an animal talking point up over here. Our facilities. Animal talk point. Over here. Looks like there's no uh, open flame, by the way. That was the concern with this, that it looked like there would be a flame at the top of this. But, oh, you know what there is? Well, this is actually, it's not, it's not, it's, it's kind of open. This is, uh, this is safe enough. You know, the, uh, this is, uh, this is coated 
in in fireproof uh, chemicals. We're we're good. <laughs> well, we're good. We're fine. We're we're okay. We're okay. Go ahead and get this down over here. When do we want to give these talks? Or the oh, I can't assign can't assign two things. That's unfortunate. Let's do a zebra talk in March. And let's do a uh, giraffe talk in May. Right? Let's go ahead and hire. I see I see that happiness. That's really annoying. Uh, so glad we're not playing in hard mode. If I was playing in hard mode still and I saw that litter, that trail of litter, I would have. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. We need more Australian um, educators, by the way. She's all on her own. Are a couple of you here? There we go. Go there we go, and uh, this is center. Find you to center as well. Manage work zones. Pop you into center. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. And don't worry, we'll be getting more uh, Australian educators, like I was saying. About to have some more red kangaroo offspring as well. You know what? We haven't seen that animation in a while. Miss Assigned Species. Ow. Where's my baby? Oh, I'm, I, I want to check in on that Miss Assigned Species thing as well. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. So cute. Out you come. Best birth giving animations between the uh, kangaroo and the koala, honestly. Best. 100% best. Alright. Look at that. Postcard moment there. Back down over here. How is this a misassigned species? And is it because. Oh, that's not cool. No habitat to throw food to? Oh. Is it too far away? Oh, okay. Weird that it says misassigned. That's bad. That's so weird. Centralize it then, put it in a central spot then. I have these talks over here. Let's go ahead and move this bench over a little bit. There we go. Move this over a little bit as well. There we go. Actually, looking at that reminds me. Let's go ahead and take a look at our memorial again really quickly. And it seems as though guests are more than happy to walk right through the bins. Damn. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Wondering if we'd catch some action down over here. Offspring imminent. Good stuff. Catch our baby during the sunrise over here. Oh, both of our babies over here now. The pr I don't think I'll ever get over the proportions. So goofy looking. But those, those, those legs are like tree trunks. Compared to what they look like when they're fully grown, you know? Oh man, that Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry, I'm just uh <laughs> enjoying the visuals a bit too much here. Um all right, so we, we took care of our warthogs, we took care of our kangaroos. I did want to see how these talks were doing and I did want to uh, uh, come on, man. It's right, there's a bin right there. Got a pickpocket over here, looks like, as well. Buddy. That's right. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wearing one of those vibrant shirts, trying to hide in a crowd. What is... Wh what? Come on, man. I can't. I really can't. Okay. All right. We're fine. Uh, we haven't we haven't adjusted Australia in forever. 
there's no reason for this new bout of uh, nastiness to happen. This guy's also complaining about his uh, staff room being too far away. There's a staff room, like, right over here. We even established this because the staff rooms were too far away. That's frustrating. Took, took more time on litter today than I would have liked. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we've got the uh, kangaroo animal talks going on. Lundering January. You guys can throw food. This tree maybe needs to be adjusted a little bit. Just, just rotate it maybe slightly. There we go. Nudged over a bit. That one branch there is uh, killing me. If I... There we go, that's a lot more reasonable. I mean, it is good to see guests at least circling the inner ring a bit more than they were before. That's nice. We are actually seeing some activity here. Probably getting ready for, for talks and stuff as well, so that's good. That's definitely added a bit more uh, uh, activity to the uh, to the Australia section, to the kangaroo section specifically. Um, the koalas, I mean, they've, they've been pretty busy for a while, so I'm not too concerned about them. But right now, it's actually pretty barren inside. It's the outer ring, obviously, that is maybe a bit of a concern. Now, with the, uh, with the DLC, with the new animals, I was thinking of getting the penguins somewhere down over here. Like, the cassowary will be going down over here. And I was thinking maybe on the other side of the tracks or something, we would have the uh, the penguins give them a nice bit of space down over here. Kind of makes sense, you know, it's like, like quote-unquote, right off the coast of Australia, obviously, uh, is, is what I'm going for there. So that's what I was thinking for the uh, penguins. Um, and for those of you that are not aware of what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and take a look at the king penguin and its natural habitat. So I guess, you know, just off the coast of Australia is where it begins. And then off the coast of South America is where it ends. So we could either do that, or we could find a space to tuck them in over here with uh, with South America. We could maybe, you know, put them behind Darwin's Den or something. I don't necessarily like that, because getting people there is going to be a bit of a strange journey. But that's an option as well. Uh, and as for the... Um, oh man, there's actually... Uh, you know what? I have to think about this a bit more. Because there's the giant otter... And there is also the Dwarf Cayman. They also need to be added over here. And this area is pretty densely packed. I mean, we've got this space up top over here. Which we might want to utilize. Or we might want to flatten and, and use it at a ground level. Like, basically, those guys will probably have to be added over here. Or over here. Now, I don't think we can get guests over there without... Uh... Well, this is a bit of a dead end wonder if we like yeah you know we could actually we could bring this down a step and make a little like ring kind of a thing and over here we could have the uh, giant otter enclosure that could be fun They'd be able to run around over here there's a nice waterfall makes this area a bit more exciting from the uh, the uh, staff room over here as well I suppose okay yeah that might work maybe we do the giant otters over here uh, and then the dwarf um, Cayman, we would put where? Like, we could maybe raise a path up to over here or something. Very densely packed, but it fills this area up nicely. Yeah, that could be good, that could be good. And then the penguins, you know, over here. Just to bring some more love to this side as well. That's why I would rather put them on the uh, Australia side rather than the uh, South America side. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I would love to know your thoughts on that. Obviously, if you would... Uh, suggest or recommend or prefer something else, something a little different. Uh, if you think those make perfect sense to you, then that's uh, pretty good as well. I'm just assigning A stars every day now, aren't I? Uh, then, yeah, if you have any other ideas to, to throw out there, then feel free to do that as well, of course. I will take that into consideration uh, and, and see what else might work. But I do think the uh, plans that I just laid out there might make the uh, most sense in terms of... Uh, in terms of, oh, wow, in terms of, of available space, in terms of uh, uh, ways we can build more loops, in terms of how we can fit them in to the spaces where they belong. How are you so cute? What's with those eyes? It was just like a food coma is setting in. Or he's like super excited to just see the food. Those eyes tell a story, don't they? Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like those might be the best call. But again, 
Uh, maybe y'all have some something else you'd like to see or, or some suggestions about uh, what might uh, work better or, or something like that. Feel free to let me know. You are... Oh, you're about to become an adult. I see. Oh my god, these stats are ridiculous. Just bonkers. Alright. Done there. Go ahead and put... The view of the Jaguar from here is not great at all. Well, look out the window, basically. You, you, and you. Move you to the Trade Center. Please. We will trade them soon. We will trade them soon. I do hope... I actually wonder, do we get to see... Find some music here. South America. Brazil-specific... with the playlist here then um i wonder if wait sorry if we can't see scenery rating is perfect but like reviews about oh hey that's cool i'm assuming that's uh guests yeah rock talk has got quite a few plane zebra zero zero these were just added these were just added the red kangaroo ones are getting some guests as well all right all right looking pretty good looking pretty good Folks, on that high note of things looking pretty good is where we're actually going to call it a session here as these uh, zebras getting in on this meal over here. Where's where's Aisha? Where's our little baby? Oh, we have two. Latifa. Wow, those are some stats. Aisha, I mean, you're nice too. Just the fertility is a thing, but that can be... That's not as, uh, you know, bad. It's not a big, a big a deal. Latifa, though. Look at that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the animations. Just look at the... Ah, it's so good. It's so good. Folks, this is where we're calling it a session, though, like I said. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, again, very management-focused, this one. Getting some of the new uh, elements in as well. Getting some of the new, like, talks in. And then spending way too much time dealing with litter. I'll be completely honest. That's my own humble opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if at least some of you agree. Uh, but hopefully that's behind us. I don't know. What am I going to do? I'll hire another 20 uh, caretakers or something? That might just be it. <laughs> that might just be it. But uh, but yeah, we got um, some talks in with regards to where I want to put the new DLC animals in. Not saying that they're going to be the next things I tackle, but just talking about where those animals are going to go. And again, if you want to see those animals in action, I do have that little mini series that is concluding with an episode later today as well. So feel free to you know go ahead and check that out because they are very fun. And you can see exactly, you might be able to tell how I might want to use these spaces to uh, bring those animals in. Uh, apart from that, we've prevented inbreeding with the warthogs, inbreeding with the red kangaroo, and we've seen new baby koalas as well. So things are looking pretty good for Elite Zoo South. Things have stabilized, apart from the litter, and uh, we continue to fill in the gaps. And uh, I think uh, for the next couple of sessions, at the very least, we'll have a couple of beauty passes, bring things together, do a lighting pass, bring things together, and then we will uh, look at what animals to add next. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you didn't enjoy, let me know, leave a comment, give me some feedback. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.